Well, in these uncertain economic times, everyone is looking for good financial information that will uh, help them get through this period. A lot of sources that you can go to to find this information. One source you may not have thought of is the Allen County Purdue Extension Service Office. And joining us right now is Vicki Hadley, who's a family and consumer education specialist in the office. And she's here in the City County Building, along with several other businesses and organizations involved in the Money Smart Fair. And Vicki, it's good to see you. Yes, thank you for being here today. Uh, before we talk about exactly what the uh, Extension Service Office has to provide. But let's talk a little bit about the fair. Uh, how did it get started and, and what's the purpose behind it? Okay. Um, the Money Fair is just one event for Money Smart Week, and we have an Allen County Financial Stability Partnership, which has a lot of the banks and um, credit unions, a lot of the social service agency, government agencies um, come together and uh, provide education financially for individuals. And this is the fourth year for the Money Fair. We've moved it around locations in Allen County, and uh, we have 17 different uh, vendors who are here today with information. And it's the first year in the City County Building. First year in the City County Building, that's right. And connected with the fair and the week, you also have some seminars that, that take place uh, on a lot of different topics involving uh, financial information. Yes, um, today's just the kickoff fair. Money Smart Week actually begins on Saturday and runs all next week. And so we have, for example, Huntington Bank is going to be doing a um, workshop on Saturday. Um, Salem Bank will be at the chamber with workshops. Um, the League for the Blind and Disabled also has a workshop next week. Um, Urban League has a workshop. And so there's lots of opportunities around the city to get to know other agencies and get educated. And this is an annual event that happens every October. Um, this will be the last year, it will be in October, because of the fact that right now the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago, our key partner, has several states that are involved and they're going to go national with this program. And so they're going to combine all the um, sites together into one location and we're actually going to do it in April of 2012, which is Financial Literacy Month. And so all states throughout the United States will be doing it during the same time frame. Great. Well, let's talk a little bit about the Purdue Extension Service Office here in Allen County. Uh, you think of that office and normally 4-H, agriculture, how to keep the weeds out of my yard, and the Allen County Fair. That, that's a lot of it, but uh, talk a little bit about what you do in terms of helping educate the public about money and finance. Okay. Um, as the consumer family science educator, um, anything related to the home and family is coming my direction, but I'm also a fa um, financial resource management specialist, and so um, I do a lot of money management training, work with a lot of the agencies around town, because many of the clientele, in order to get the services from the agencies, need financial education. And so I go in many times to provide that service as well. We have a lot of publications, resources online. Our website is loaded with a lot of things that people can go to. 24 hours a day, seven days a week um, to assist them through that process as well. Um, and this is just one of many, many partnerships um, that I'm involved in throughout the um, city and county to help individuals to improve their financial situation. I, I guess you could say in, in kind of a bad way, business is probably good for you uh, in these times. And that's kind of sad on the one hand, but on the other hand, uh, you, you've got a lot of folks coming to talk to you and you're talking to them. That's exactly right. Um, one of the key things is just basic money management. How do I track my spending? How do I set up a spending and savings plan? Because most people, if they hear the word budget, they don't want to do that at all. And so that's when we call them spending and savings plans. And to encourage them to pay themselves first um, so that they have the savings. They're prepared for an emergency um, type of a situation as well. And I have a program that I do um, many, many times over entitled Where Does Your Money Go? And it's just basic money management as well. And you have, obviously, as we can see behind us, a lot of pamphlets, I think you mentioned, that uh, a lot of information that uh, you can uh, hand out to folks or give to folks who need it. Yeah, and the key thing is with the economic times, we're finding a lot of people are looking at the possibility of going into business uh, for themselves. Maybe it's something they've been doing on the side, and now that they may be unemployed or been downsized in that, and so we've got publications. We have an online business plan or tool that they can use to get that business plan put together because almost all financial partners that you go to today, um, they're going to ask for for a business plan before they consider funding any money at all. And so we have the resources to help. And some of the problems people are facing, the, the solutions really are kind of common sense, aren't they? Yeah, they are very, very basic. Um, many times you just overlook um, the information. And sometimes we, they just don't know where to turn. Who has resources that can really assist? 
Well, if folks need more information or want to get in contact with you, how do they go about doing that? Okay, our extension office is 4001 Crescent Avenue, which is actually on the east side of the IPFW campus here in Fort Wayne. Um, our telephone number is 260-481-6826. And then we also have a website, as I indicated, www.extension.purdue.edu backslash Allen. And if you have problems getting to that or don't remember the address, you can always go to Allen County's website, allencounty.us, and we have a link there uh, that will get you to the Purdue Extension Service site. Uh, Vicki, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, we appreciate uh, your time and appreciate the service you're providing to folks here in the community. We're always willing to help. Thanks.